If the latter, his invitation was the result of hospitality and the furthest in the world from a design to murder. Does it refute the idea of it being something he didn't know about? It will be to little purpose to say that if the perpetrators of the deed of reason with themselves thus, if their prophet and general could once be cut off, his soldiers will become so entirely dispirited and incapable of resistance as either to surrender to the mercy of the town or betake themselves to a precipitate flight and to hide their shame and disappointment in the shades of obscurity. I guess people can convince, be convinced that this was the case, but people fighting against those who would set up war against them, you know, this would have been a desperate supposition in which the odds were 20 to 1 against them. Besides, the whole of this transaction is ascribed to a giddy girl. See, this is what this guy thinks of young women. To which her father is not once supposed to have been privy, and therefore to make her reason in such a manner to draw remote and dubious consequences from premises beyond the reach of a childish understanding exceeds all powers of belief. People even before being teenagers would be capable of such things, but when interrogated why she ventured to commit such a horrible crime, she is made to reason with the acuteness of an Aristotle, a.k.a. every other every other Jew with a religion would be able to give the following reasons. She said that if he really was a prophet, he would certainly know that the meat was poisoned, but if he was not, she considered highly meritorious to get rid of uh, to rid the world of such an infamous wretch. Now, how much actually agree with these biblical teachings that the rabbis had inserted? Who knows? But it's certainly that every other Jew and a lot of the Christians know about. Here, we have a view of things ascribed to a young woman, perhaps not 15 years of age, who discovered to a degree of sagacity and discernment not always to be met with, even in a man of 50. Yeah, something wrong with the Christian world if they can't put even that together. But to crown the whole, we hear of nothing of any sig single, of any signal punishment inflicted on the fender by Muhammad, who was left in a situation to avenge himself of his adversaries. Nor is it said that his successor took the smallest notice of it in a vindictive manner. So he admits that... Um, things were started by other people, and that's why Muhammad was off uh, doing the battles or ordering the battles and stuff that he did. As to the single circumstance of his dying by poison, there must have been some other way of accounting for it than that which passes current with the public. The persons who poisoned him, if they did it through design, would undoubtedly have kept their own secret since the making it known was their speedy destruction. If it was the result of accident, we should have we should not have heard the young woman reasoning like a philosopher on the merit of her conduct. Now a lot of people were refer, refer to particularly females under thirty as if they're you know, until you have wrinkles, we're gonna call you a girl. Um which I, I don't agree with. Uh in a word. It seems to have been to be involved in impenetrable darkness, how or by whom he was poisoned, without admitting a number of absurdities at which reason recoiled by absurdities, something. There can be no spiritual favor outside of Christianity, basically is what the author is saying. Poisoned, however, he was, as he acknowledged on his deathbed, and therefore all that can be said with certainty is this, Muhammad having experienced the snare laid for him either by mere accident or the superior sensibility of his palate might perhaps think of turning this circumstance to his advantage, or of allowing his followers to make as much of it as they could, in heightening his prophetic greatness, as there was probably none present but Bashar to witness what quantity he devoured. He might ascribe his escape to the immediate hand of God, whose prophet he claimed to be, and that he was placed beyond the reach of danger by his heavenly constituent and that's not the way the Muslim mean talked. Um, this idea 
might suppress his resentment and induce him to make no minute inquiry after the cause of this calamity, having escaped himself, his followers having now a leader who is proof against poison, they would still be further persuaded of the truth of his mission. Had Muhammad stopped there and observed the same cunning and privacy in his last moments, which distinguished him through life, his prophetic reputation would have been much augmented if instead of complaining bitterly to the mother of Bashar that he felt the effects of the bit he had eaten at Kabar, then corroding his very vitals and hastening his dissolution, he had given out that his approaching death was the result of age and fatigue bringing on that momentous period, which is the common lot of humanity his whole life, would have been one constant theme 